the Yak 130 Combat Employment. The Yak 130 Combat Trainer Jet is a cost effective solution for employment in low intensity conflicts. The aircraft is equipped with a wide range of guided and unguided weaponry with an overall weight up to three tons. The Yak 130 is capable of engaging a wide variety of aerial targets. Lightweight attack jets, combat trainers and transport aircraft. Unmanned aerial vehicles and other low-speed aerial objects. As well as helicopters. Low cost and easy to operate, the Yak-130 combat trainer can be also effectively employed as a light attack aircraft against various ground targets, including unsheltered aircraft on the ground, ground installations lacking an advanced air defense system. Small size pinpoint targets such as wheeled vehicles, light armored vehicles and infantry groupings. The Yak-130 can also be used to destroy low displacement ships. Typical aerial targets. Due to its high flight performance, the Yak-130 can effectively perform aerial combat. The aircraft is equipped with infrared guided missiles. A helmet mounted targeting system simplifies target locking during air combat and provides the Yacht 130 with a significant advantage over aircraft without such equipment. The Yacht 130 can effectively engage low-speed aerial targets such as unmanned aerial vehicles. Besides the infrared guided missiles, the Yacht 130 carries a container with an aircraft gun installed under the fuselage. Forecast track is displayed on a head-up display to ease aiming, thus providing high probability of target hit. Infrared guided missiles can be employed against combat, patrol and cargo helicopters. Infrared guided missiles targeting can be implemented with the helmet mounted sighting device or with the head up display in corresponding modes. Typical surface targets. Delivering airstrikes to unsheltered aircraft located at open air is one of the ways to isolate the battle zone, to conquer and retain aerial supremacy in low-intensity conflict. To perfect these tasks, the Yak-130 is able to carry a wide variety of combat payload, including suspended aircraft gun, dispenser pods, rockets, or various aerial bombs. Heat and chaff dispenser pods provide the Yacht 130 combat trainer jet with the ability to evade attacks of manned portable air defense systems. The aircraft gun pod allows to destroy pinpoint ground and maritime targets such as vehicles or motorboats. 
aiming data is presented on the head-up display. Various aerial bombs of up to 500 kilograms can be suspended on four underwing hardpoints. Aerial bombs can be employed against an impromptu detected target during level flight or diving, or against a spotted target during level flight or pitching up. The Yak-130 combat trainer is armed with effective ammunition to eliminate ground and maritime targets such as small size pinpoint objects including transport columns, supporting forces and light armored vehicles, ground installations, small displacement ships. The Yak-130 can be employed to disrupt supplies and logistics of enemy forces and can provide close air support to the friendly troops on the ground. The Yak-130 can carry four blocks of 80 to 250 millimeter rockets, which makes this aircraft an effective destructive instrument of transport convoys. Aiming data for corresponding firing mode is shown on the head-up display. A part of the Yacht-130's weaponry, guided aerial bombs can be employed against high-priority targets including small displacement ships. Data from a homing head is shown on multifunctional color displays in front and rear cabins. Equipped with a high-precision navigation system, the Yacht 130 ensures hitting targets with minimal deviation and eliminating it with a pinpoint strike as soon as target coordinates are obtained. Flight data and target coordinates are uploaded to the main computer memory of the aircraft. In-flight high-precision navigation is provided autonomously by an inertial navigation system integrated with the GPS and GLONASS systems. It allows to automate en route flight, reach maximum stealth, and minimize the duration of a stay in the target zone. In order to reach high hit accuracy of the navigated target, the Yak-130 can use a guided air bomb. The bomb is equipped with a concrete piercing head and perfectly suits to hit static small size protected targets like reinforced concrete shelters. A TV-guided target-seeking device with the correlation algorithm of data processing is able to memorize target location and navigate the bomb's flight until target hit, thus implementing the fire-and-forget principle. The flexibility of combat employment and expanded list of air-to-air -air and surface-to-surface -surface weaponry make the Yak-130 a powerful combat aircraft for low-intensity conflicts and counter-terrorism operations.
Upgrade. M1 Minimal Modernization. Laser range finder installation increases accuracy of unguided weaponry employment up to two to two and a half times and simplifies its usage in mountainous terrain. Installation of two transceivers increases reliability of communications and ensures flights over water surface. M2 in addition to M1. An in-flight refueling system provides in-flight refueling training capability and increases aircraft flight range. An Uptronic Guidance Systems pod provides enhancement of weaponry options by including high-precision weaponry with a laser and IR sighting system and ensures round-the-clock employment in VFR weather conditions. The Talisman onboard self-defense system can also be included to the weaponry list. This system provides aircraft defense against air-to-air -air missiles with active or half-active radar homing, as well as against surface-to-air missiles control centers and artillery.